Hey, good morning, it's Sean with BNA Bid, and we have another wholesale pallet auction that's be posted today. Uh, today's May 4th, and uh, we're gonna do a quick video. This is by far the best way to um, to uh, preview the, the uh, pallet auctions. The pictures uh, sometimes just don't do them justice, so we do this video of each pallet. So um, here's a preview, we'll do all pallets. I think there is 34 total, so we'll go through. So um, if there's a specific pallet you're looking for, just either fast forward or kind of go through, we'll do them in order. Pallet number one is hardware overstock and returns. This is pallet number one. Um, looks like some fans, some lights, some fixtures, clocks, uh, bidets in there. Hey, still a hot item, folks. This is all pallet number one, uh, hardware overstock returns and miscellaneous. Pallet number two is an American standard tub. Standard size American standard tub. Does have some cosmetic damage on the front, but it's a brand new tub with some cosmetic damage. That is pallet number two. Pallet three is customer and store returns got a got a Roomba on there um i think the Roomba was in new shape it was missing the battery though what I, from what i would recall but again don't take my word for that that's kind of what i remember on it but these are all returns um customer returns uninspected customer returns um it's got the Roomba on there it's got a uh, playable mattress like a little mickey toy um some sort of crate some plumbing stuff uh, some more inflatable mattresses as well that is pallet number three pallet four is a bunch of bedding rails box springs uh, miscellaneous product that goes with bedding complete incomplete products there's a shelf on there as well pallet four is a large overstock pallet of bedding bedding products that's four number five is just a miscellaneous bunch of long boxes really don't know what half of them are some long long boxes here it looks like bedding um i don't know what that says whatever that says that might help out on that one there's two of those there's a couple of these pro slats, not sure. Um, this is pallet number five, really mystery pallet. Number five, six is our favorite. Six is our favorite, it's seasonal. We love seasonal product, here we go. Stock up for Christmas. Big, huge overstock pallet, overflowing pallet of seasonal product. Number seven is, is uh, salvage returns, miscellaneous. It's got a uh, chandelier in here. Looks like the chandelier might be broken or have some damage. It's got a fan with a broken box. It's got an old school sharp projector. Um, some diapers. I would call this one a salvage pallet for pallet seven. Pallet eight is premium auto. Premium auto. Pallet eight is premium auto. Uh, these are all items we just, you know, we don't have a good outlet for automotive. So we just stack them in a big box and then sell it. Uh, the majority of this should be in new or light new condition from what we know. Pallet number eight is premium auto. Good pallet here, number eight. Number nine is more bedding. More bedding, miscellaneous. Slats, rails, headboards. Again, complete, incomplete, but again, it's bedding product here. You can sell the headboards. You can sell the slats um, for resellers. Number 10. Number 10 is uh, like overstock products, some seasonal stuff, some uh, decorative stuff. Got some cups in there. Got some lampshades. Uh, so got a pillow, and then just some more decorative products in there. That is pallet 10. Number 11. Hardware, overstock returns. We got an echo chainsaw on there, some water supply lines, light bulbs, all kinds of stuff. It's a short little pallet, but pallet 11's got some good stuff in there. Number 12, miscellaneous furniture, bed frames, platforms, desks. Um, I would call this salvage grade, just because I'm looking at the boxes. I am not sure, more bedding stuff as well. Pallet 12, handyman special. Same thing with 13, handyman special, bedding product. It's wrapped up tight, but again, um, this is for the the, uh, the installer, the builder, uh, the furniture maker, pallet number 13. 14 salvage, we got a little dog crate in here as well, and two fridges. Um, don't, know the, don't know the quality of the fridges. I'm going to guess if they're here, they are either returns, non-working, but again, you never know. We haven't tested them here, so I would, this is a pallet number, what number is this? I already forgot. Pallet number 14 is salvage grade, in my opinion. And 15 more seasonal. Hey, hey, hey. Lots and lots of seasonal. Again, lots of little small things. Anybody who sells at the flea market, there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of items in these little bins here. Um, good little flea market pieces, some pencils in there. Lots of bows, lots of ribbons. You know you're gonna buy it sooner than later. No reason to get it for, on the cheap now. Number 15, just a miscellaneous palette of stuff. Miscellaneous, got some more paper in there. Got some uh, automotive, uh, shades, some automotive uh, uh, floor mats as well. 17, salvage. 17 is salvage. It's pieces and parts of a treadmill. Proform treadmill. 
um, pieces and parts here. It looks like the treadmill screens here. It looks like it has some damage to the screen. But again, we know guys that have parted these out and done very well on the treadmills. Um, if anything, it's good scrap metal. Hey, who would have thunk it? Pallet 17, Pallet 18, a bunch of long boxes. Not sure what they are. Uh, it looks like we've got an auto shade here, a Tona cover down in here, Dodge Ram Tona cover. Um, this is a bug deflector, things that we had listed. These are things we just pulled off the shelf, I believe. Some more long boxes. That's pallet number 18. 19 is huge. No idea what it is. All kinds of big random boxes for 19. This is kind of a mystery pallet, but it's a big, huge, long pallet. All kinds of cool stuff on there. But again, I don't know. I really don't know what's in it. Here. Don't know what that. That'll help you out. There you go. That might help you out. Not sure if it will. Not sure if it won't. Let's see if this helps you out. There you go. Not sure what it is, folks. But here. Big, big, big pal. 20, one of my favorites, Lay's Chips. Six cases of Lay's Chips. April 2020. You know what? They're not that bad. But hey, it's a Best Buy date. I still eat them. 21, 22, 23, 24 is all lot boxes. Little lot boxes of overstock, new stuff, toys, knickknacks, all kinds of small things, all brand new stuff. 21, lots of toys, lots of mugs, cups, all kinds of cool things in there. Same thing with 22. Lot box of all kinds of little nonsensey small things. Great for knickknacks, great for gifts, a little bit of treasure for the grandkids, lots of little toys. This one has a whole pallet of, of flip flop chicletas on it. Uh, some little books, some sponges, a little baseball bat, Duplo. That's pallet number 23. And 24, 24 cups, 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 and cups. All kinds of cool stuff, folks. That is pallet 24. 25, good looking pallet, number 25, not sure what's on it, but got some recessed ceiling lights, got a lawnmower, we got the old school push lawnmower, uh, got some luggage back there as well. All right, 26 is some seeds, some feed, I think some cat litter, some dog food. It's just stuff we didn't know what to do with. Uh, miscellaneous pallet, just big, heavy cat, pet, and seed stuff and that's 26 27 is a file cabinet the top cabinet 27 top new cabinet top is jammed up but the bottom two they do open up there go. so you got three quarters of a good cabinet there pallet number 27 28 bunch of storage bins lots and lots of storage bins and lids lots and lots of lids to be honest with you um seems like there's a couple of bins on there lots of lids but mostly lids and bins so weird little pallet there. 29 is a really nice fire pit. I don't know why it got put over here. Um, got a little bit of cosmetic damage to it, but it's a really nice looking fire pit. It's untested, but again, not much that can go wrong with that. Good looking fire pit. Number 30, number 30 is clothing, clothing, clothing. Cool pieces, all brand new clothing. Um, got some Ralph US Polo, US Polo, some Hanes, some uh, athletic sports apparel. Um, some backpacks, some polo backpacks, a little jacket, lots of cool stuff in this pallet here. Um, many, many pieces, all new, all new clothing. 31 is two large, large rolls of carpet. I say it's about 16 feet of carpet, two rolls, miscellaneous colors. I'll get close as I can. There's one, there's the other, two rolls of carpet, pallet number 31. 32 is a salvage pallet. Looks like we got some miscellaneous pieces for sofas. Got a chair. It's a little Barbie house on here. It's already built. A little Barbie house that's already built on here as well. That is number 32. 33, I'm running out of breath. Almost there. Chair salvage. I would say it's a salvage. Looks like it's a chair. Not sure what's going on with it. Looks clean from the backside. There's a little wicker chair there as well. I don't see any tears or rips on it. But again, I'm going to assume hey, it's a recliner. Look at that. Um, I'm gonna assume it's salvage. Needs to be a little, needs to be worked on. And last but not least, 34 is a corner tub. It's a little bit dirty, but it's brand new. There's no cosmetic damage to this one at all. Um, Pallet 34 is a nice corner size tub. So thanks for watching. Um, this auction will be posted, and uh, we appreciate all the support you guys are giving us at B and A Bid.